Jeff Blankman talking right now with Sarah Sweeney from the uh, Carroll Girls uh, golf team as they took on uh, Kemper today up in uh, Burita. Uh, Sarah, the runner-up medalist here today, uh, kind of talking to you, not real confident or real good, <laughs> real comfortable with the way you shot today, but your numbers ended up being okay. Yeah, actually, uh, my num I shot a 44. Um, my short game's the only thing that really kept me competitive, I guess. Talk um, about that short game. What was what was right about your short game today? Uh, I got up and down with... Uh, I think I had six up and down, so chip and one putt. I had like six one putts. Um, so I, I ended up with uh, 15 putts, I think, which is uh, better than average. But, yeah, that's what kept me competitive. That's the only decent word. Well, I know I saw you putting on one there. You dropped a, a pretty good one there. What was the, maybe the best putt you thought you had of the day? Ooh. I don't know what hole it was, but I had a deep... Uh, at least a, a 10 footer. Okay. Can you take us through that putt and how it rolled and how you lined it up? Well, you know, not all, a lot of my putts weren't, didn't have any uh, uh, breaks or anything like that. So not, well, a few of them did, but nothing too drastic. Um, that one that was like a 10 footer was probably, I think it broke a little bit to the right, but when I, I just lined it up, I, I've been working on my short game because I knew I, would need to this season, but it looks like I need a little work on the long side too. <laughs> what were the struggles with the long side? I know on one, I think he ended up out of bounds on mm -hmm. the first shot. So those yeah. kind of struggles all day for you? For the most part, my long game, I don't, a few of them were probably my ball flight, my backspin on my ball is pretty lofty. So I get up in the air and then with it being a little windy today, it can always push it back or uh, take it a direction like on hole number two when I uh, had a decent flight and then it took a gnarly turn into the water <laughs> but yeah I, I wouldn't say it's necessarily my driver I wouldn't say it's my hybrid I don't say it's any of my irons I'd just say my long game just needs a little work and, and, and the biggest thing is is you've been so focused maybe on the short game oh yeah you, you just haven't taken the, the driver no. out of those longer clubs out enough yeah and you know my driver's never been hasn't been an issue uh this season for the most part other than that hook on hole number one, but uh, my iron could use a lot of work. All my irons, I guess, just I need to figure out my exact distance and maybe when it dies down with the wind, I can figure exactly what I need to do. Did you feel like you got more comfortable swinging as the day went on today? Oh yeah, I always start off a little jittery. Um, it always ends up going a lot better um, towards the end. And then I start hitting a few decent longer shots and I feel a little more comfortable, so. How close are you? Th you think to being where you want to be here oh, for the early part of the season? Oh, um, I'm on. I've set goals, and so far I've um, I'm matching them right now. I'm supposed to stay 44 and under. <laughs> I've almost <laughs> inched a little too close today, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I honestly think another practice or two with my long game, I should have it all figured out. Maybe I can put both sides together and get a really good score. Best hole of the day today. Uh, is it hole six? I think I drove the green and uh, had a putt off of the fringe, and I laid it up two feet to the hole and birdied. Felt pretty good, so. That's the the kind of kind of shots you need to get you rolling, right? Yeah. Well, I tell you, sir, appreciate you joining us here today. Best luck the rest Thanks, of the Jeff. life.